OLAW is the third step in the CFOP method which stands for orientation of the last layer. In basic terms this just means that you have to make the top side the same color. There are a total of 57 algorithms in OLAW but if you first just want to learn beginner OLAW then just watch section 1. Here are the times for each section and there will also be timestamps in the description so that you can follow easily. I've memorized all the cases from cube skills so if you just want to see the written sheet then click the link in the description below. So let's get started. The first case is called the soon. It's when there are only one corner oriented and four edges and this sticker isn't facing towards you, it's facing to the right. So there are two ways you can do this. I suggest that you learn both because both of them um, are going to be used later on in more advanced algorithms. So from this angle, the algorithm goes like this. And if the same case, if you were at this angle, the algorithm goes like this. The next case is just called the soon, and it's the same as the previous one, but this time the sticker is facing towards you. So again, there are two ways you can do this. The normal way is like this. And pushing with this finger. And the different way is if you were at this angle, you can use this algorithm. So the next one is when all four edges are oriented, but none of the corners are, and you have a headlight in front and a headlight at back, you do this algorithm. This one is similar to the previous one. There are no corners oriented. There's a headlight here, but instead of a headlight here, there are two pieces here at the opposite side of each other. So you hold it like this and do this algorithm. In this case, two corners are oriented and two are not. And the two that are facing to the back side and to the front side. You hold it like this and you do this algorithm. Now if the two corners are misoriented or diagonally from each other, these two pieces face like this and you hold it like this and the algorithm goes as follow. Now this time again there are two corners misoriented but this time it's a headlight in front of you. So in front of you it looks like this. Then a deep prime with this finger. So again it's the same as the previous one but this time it's at the back side. This is a different way you can do it so it goes like this. So the next two cases are the easiest and it's very easy to distinguish. It's a T like this, but this one only has one yellow sticker, this one has two. The one with only one yellow sticker, the algorithm goes like this. And the one with two yellow stickers, the algorithm goes like this. So the next two cases are the squares and the difference between this one and this one is this yellow sticker is facing towards you, this one is facing to the right. So the one we're facing to the right, just imagine it's anti soon, but instead of doing R, you do R wide. So the algorithm goes like this. And for this one, it's again imagine it's the other algorithm for the anti soon, and you do it like this. These two cases are C shapes, and the difference is this one has a free bar, this one doesn't have a free bar. So the one with the free bar is the easiest. It goes the algorithm goes like this. And the one that doesn't have a free bar, it's a bit more tricky, but the algorithm goes like this. Then the next two cases are the W shapes. And the difference is this corner is facing towards you, this one to the left. The left one, you hold at this uh, angle and you do this algorithm. And this one, you do this um, algorithm. Then you, then you rotate like this. And do that. It's a bit tricky to finger trick but you'll get used to it. So there are two cases where all the corners are oriented but not all the edges and this is one of them where um, these two are diagonally from each other. You are it from this angle and you do this algorithm. And then the H one you just do this. And they are both inverses of each other. There are four different P shapes, but there are two of each kind. So what I mean is, when there's a P, but a bar like this, there are two types with a bar, like this. And the bars, the algorithm goes like this. When it forms a D, and the bars on the left side, you do this algorithm. But, when it's a B like this, but the bars on the right side, you do this. Now again, the two P's where there aren't any bars, there are two bars, but not three bars. So the one, the first one is when you get a D like this, you do this algorithm. 
an alternative that you can use is this algorithm. Uh, it's a bit, I, I prefer the first one, but you can also use this algorithm. So this is an S move. And as for this one, you hold it like this, so that it makes a, a reverse P almost, and you do this algorithm. So there are four I cases, but there are only two with a free bar. Again, let's do them first. So the easiest one is when there's only one free bar, and then there isn't on the left, and the algorithm goes like this. And as for this one, the algorithm goes like this. You hold it so that the I makes like a, mo a negative sign. That's a bit tricky one, that's going to take you a while to learn, but it's actually not that hard at the end. The remainder two I cases of these two, where one of them have two uh, opposite bars to each other, and the other one doesn't have any bars. So the one that has bars is the easiest, it's just an F wide, and then double sexy. And the one that doesn't have any bars, is like it goes like this. There are four V-shaped cases, but there are only two where it makes a V like this, and the other two have blocks. So the one with the V, when there is a bar here, you hold it like this, and it's kind of like the T perm, but you cancel out. You'll understand what I mean. And then this one, you hold it from this angle, and the algorithm goes like this. Now the two with the blocks, the difference is this one has a bar and a bar. This one doesn't have a bar and also it doesn't have a bar. So the one with the bar is the easiest. The algorithm goes like this. And the one without the bar, you hold it like this and the algorithm goes like this. There are four night move shapes, but there are only two where the bar is with the corner piece. So if it's like this, if the bar is on the left bottom side, Oh, sorry, the bar um, the bar's on the bottom right side and the corner's on the bottom left side. The algorithm goes like this. But if the bar is on the bottom left side and the corner's on the bottom right, you do this algorithm. Now the two cases where they're on the bar with the corner. So first this one. When you see it's on the bottom right side, then you hold it from this angle and you do this algorithm. And this one, you do it from this angle where the corner is the top right, and you do this algorithm. Again, there are four awkward shapes, but there are only two where there, are, where there is a bar right next to the corner, like this. And if the bar is on the bottom right side, like this, then you hold it like this, and you do this algorithm. And if the bar is on the left side, then you do it from this angle, and the algorithm goes like this. As for the two awkward shapes where there isn't a bar like this, you get these two. So first of all, let's do this one. Um, you hold it from this angle, and you do soon, uh, uh, soon, and then F or your R prime F prime. And as for this one, I told you you need to learn both anti soons and soons because it actually helps you. So this one again, you hold it from this angle, and you do the one where it's the second anti soon algorithm, and then the T case. There are six L shapes, but I'll quickly show you how to recognize them. There are only two cases where there isn't a free bar everywhere. And if it's on the right side, you just do F, double sexy move, F prime. And if it's on the left side, you just do the mirror. So it's F prime, double left sexy move, and then F. For all four of the next cases, you should always um, take the free bar and put it to the left side. And that's how you're going to distinguish them, because all of them you also execute from that side. So when there's uh, a free bar like this, but also a two bar, there are two cases. The first one is where the uh, L shape is on the top, and the second one is where the L shape is at the bottom. So the top one, the algorithm goes like this. And as for this one, where the L is on the top side, the algorithm goes like this. This is a weird uh, finger trick, but try it. So now the two L cases that don't have a bar, as you can see, no bars, only a free bar. There's one again with the L's at the bottom and one is the L at the top. So the one where the L's at the top is the easiest, the algorithm goes like this. 
and the one with the L's at the bottom, the algorithm goes like this. So there are six lightning bolts, four small and two big. The big ones are easier. So the big ones are easy to recognize because it's a big lightning bolt and also the corner is always going to be on the right side or left side. So here as you can see, right side, right side. And this one, left side, left side. As for the right side one, you hold it so the bars at the back and the non-bars at the front and you do this algorithm. And as for the left one, you do this, basically the mirror of that. And again, the non-bar here, the bar at the back. So as for the four small lightning bolts, they are also quite easy to recognize. So two of them have two bars, like this, as you can see, and one of the, uh, two of them only have one bar. So let's first do this one, the one that makes a Z like this. So what you do is you hold it from this angle, and the algorithm goes like this. Now this one, uh, with a, it's almost like an inverse Z, you also hold it like this, and the algorithm goes like this. So here are the two small lightning bolts with only one bar. One is a Z and one is like an anti-Z. Let's first do the Z one. So now for this one, you can do M prime, but as I saw that Felix doesn't use M prime, he uses wide R moves, and I agree because M prime you have to regrip. So it's actually better to do that. So you can do the M prime one, but this is a different way how to do it. It's the same thing, but it's just the way I execute it. That's, it's a bit difficult to execute. You can use M or M prime, but I suggest that you use wide R moves. And now for this one, where it's the anti Z, you hold it like this, and the algorithm goes like this. Again, then instead of M, you could have done this. So it's all up to you. I, I think this is still better, but you can do M if you really want to. It, it just saves a regrip. So now we are at the last section, the dot cases. This is optional. You can know this if you want. Me personally, I don't quite use them because I have algorithms for every F2L case to avoid the dot cases because in my opinion, they aren't worth it. Some people say they are, but it's just my opinion. So there are two with the, where there's only one dot and both of them have a free bar like this. And, but this one has a bar here and a bar here. This one doesn't. So the bar one is easy. It's just F, sexy move, F prime, and then you get this case, which is the wide F, sexy move, F prime. And then as for this one, you hold them again the same like this, and you go, the algorithm goes like this. Oh, sorry. The next two are so similar from each other. The only difference is um, the algorithms and how you recognize it. So what you do is you hold the corner to the top right, and then you look at these two, if it's on the right side or if it's on the left side. So if it's on the left side, you hold it like this, and you do this algorithm. Again, what if six move f prime but now you have to do a u f sexy prime uh, uh, sexy and for this one where it isn't on the right it's on the right side not the left side what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to rotate so it's like this and just basically do the same so it's what if or your prime u prime but instead of doing a u you do a u prime and then f sexy move f prime now here's the two cases with the headlights almost like so the two headlights like this, the only difference is this one has a free bar and this one doesn't. The free bar, what you're going to do is you're going to hold it at this angle and the algorithm goes like this. And the one that doesn't have a free bar like this one, you're going to do this. You can do here an M move or you can do an R right, R right prime, whichever you like. So it's an M, U, sexy move. F prime and then a sledge. So you are at your last two cases. So the difference is easy to see. This one is the only one with five corners correctly oriented, and this is the one with two, only uh, with two corners um, like this, where it's uh, diagonally from each other. So the one where there's two corners diagonally from each other, you hold it so that it's like this, and the two bars are to left and to back, and the algorithm goes like this. So as you can see, all the dot cases are really, like, they use uh, many of the previous algorithms, it's just you have to mix them and use them together. And for this one, again, you can use an M, or you can use an R right, uh, uh, an R, an R right prime, whichever you like. So it's an M, U, sexy move, M2, and then just in, like, an R right insert. So those were all the 57 OLA algorithms. 
These algorithms are really easy to learn compared to PL algorithms, so trust me, it won't take too long to learn. You can learn a couple a day, a couple a week, however you want. It's not that hard to learn. And this will make a big difference, especially when you want to become sub-15. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Any questions, please feel free to ask them down below. Like and subscribe, and peace.